Yo, I'm Brendan, and today Robinhood updated their margin offering to us and lowered rates. You can get an incredibly low rate if you borrow enough money on margin with them. And a little precursor to that, you have to borrow an obscene amount of money on margin, which means you have to have an obscene amount of money invested with them. So let's go over this little update today and talk about if it's worth using, if you're a margin user, what does this mean for you, and what exactly do you have to do to get that lowest rate possible? Because it's really low. So this is what I saw whenever I opened my Robinhood investing app this morning. It said, right now you can say goodbye to high fees margin rates starting at 6.75%, lower than everybody else, and going down as low as 5.7%, which, guys, it's 2024. That's still a high rate, but relative to the other rates in 2024, it's pretty darn good. So I compared investing margin rates with other brokerages and went, wow, that is really low. I mean, even Interactive Brokers, which has like infamously low margin rates, it's lower than that. So it says, here's what you can do whenever you borrow margin. So I said, okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can see here. And Robinhood tries to describe the benefits of using margin. Margin. Now, for me personally, I've only used margin a couple of times. One time I used it and I actually borrowed money. I reinvested that money in my own brokerage account and I tried to do what they're showing you here in this cute little chart, which is multiplying your gains. You can basically say, I'm going to borrow money, then I'm going to reinvest that same money. And hopefully because I have more money reinvested, my overall account will grow faster. I'll have more profits. Maybe you get more dividends or whatever happens that then allows you to benefit from having borrowed this money because you're paying interest on the money. So whatever return you're getting has got to be higher than that interest rate. Otherwise it's a, it's a negative equation here. You're a losing battle. You're a sinking ship. So they say right there, over time, it could mean even greater returns. And as I was looking at this out loud on the couch, I was like, or it could mean that you lose your shirt because that's the other logical choice of things that could happen here. And then thankfully, they at least do give us some kind of warning here. They show us that in the very next screen. Hey, you also have to watch out because margin could amplify your losses. And that's what people say about money, right? Money doesn't change who you are. It just amplifies who you are even more. This is what margin is doing. It's giving you more money. And so it's amplifying whatever your decision was. If you made a really good decision and you reinvested the money and your investment went up by a ton, then they're going to go up even more because you did this margin business where if you made a bad decision, your investments are going down, they're going to go down harder because you're borrowing on margin. So this is a very serious thing to undergo. I don't want anyone to think about margin as, oh, I can just borrow some free money or this is cheaper than my credit card. And so I may as well just use this money. There is a lot of caveats when it comes to margin borrowing. And so we've got to do this as wisely as possible. So if you're going to do this, then the next step is to put in more information on your financial situation from Robinhood. So I updated some of the details in here, but they're not exactly perfectly accurate for me. I was just more curious to get through this process and see what does it look like to use margin with Robinhood? What's this process look like? How much do they vet us as margin users? What kind of warnings do they give us? What do they verify with us? So I threw some numbers in there. I hit OK, and then it gave me this result, which is I can borrow up to $32,541.70. How exactly they reached that number? I have no idea. They don't tell us it's X percent of all the assets you have under management at Robinhood. They don't tell us it's based on your income mixed with this. Mixed with, I, they don't say anything. They just gave me a number. And so if I'm totally forthcoming with you, I'll tell you right now, that's pretty darn close to the exact 100% total of my taxable brokerage account with Robinhood right now. And so that seems like kind of a funny number because I was like, are they going to loan me 100% of my taxable brokerage balance right now? I mean, I guess they could. In my experience with margin in the past, it's not been 100% one-to-one loanability rating. It's been like 60% or whatever. Because the other time that I used margin with M1 Finance, I just used it for like a day to cover a gap in our bank account to make sure that we didn't get like hit with some like low balance fee or whatever. So I borrowed the money, had it there ready to go. The transaction in question went through. Then I paid off the borrow loan immediately. So we didn't even get charged interest on it really. So if I can, I'll update you on that and find out exactly how they determine how much margin you get. But for our purposes right now, you just put in your information in that little calculator in that financial form and they spit out a number on the other end. But the most revelatory thing here, besides how much money they're letting you borrow, is also what you have to do to get the next level of cheap borrowing rate. So we start off with $1,000. Because I'm a gold member, it says your first $1,000 is interest-free with gold. I think that's really cool. I mean, I'm still not that motivated to use it, but if for some reason I needed a cheap $1,000 loan to do something with, that's pretty interesting. Full disclosure, I haven't taken advantage of this yet. I haven't borrowed anything, but 
You could. And then the introductory rate, that 6.75% that it is as of right now at the end of May 2024, that's for all the margin borrowed balances up to $50,000. So you've already got to be a pretty heavy hitter, a pretty serious margin borrower to get a cheaper rate than that. And that's a good introductory rate. Like I don't see cheaper rates than that advertised online really, unless you're borrowing obscene amounts of money. And so in the scheme of things today in 2024, it's a very competitive rate, but you don't get all the way to that super cheap rate of 5.7% unless you borrow borrow $50 million plus. Can you even imagine a situation where someone would do that? Because first off, to have that amount of money with Robinhood is saying something. A, you've either inherited an absolute obscene amount of money from somebody, and you probably have $100 million plus to your name, let alone what's in Robinhood. B, you've chosen to put most or all of that in Robinhood, which is a quirky decision. I'll, I'll just call it out for what it is. That would be very quirky. C, or three or whatever numerical counting figure I'm on now. After all of that, after saying... I've got literally tens of millions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars at my disposal. You look at your Robin Hood account one day and you say, gosh, you know what I need to do? I need to borrow some money on margin because maybe you don't have a better way to borrow money. That's kind of odd. I would think you'd have a better way. Also, the elephant in the room is what the hell has gone wrong? What terrible decisions have you made that you need to borrow $50 million plus? If you qualify for a $50 million margin loan, you should be financially stable enough and free enough to not have to borrow any more money. What is happening here? This is just such a conundrum to me. Like I would pay money to somehow get 10 profiles of people from Robinhood that had borrowed $50 million plus. Like I would want to know what is happening in this person's life that they need this money and that this is the place where they go to get it. It's so, so strange to me. I just can't imagine. So then if you want to go through with this, whether you've got $100 million or $10,000, you've got to read these little agreements. Of course, we've all got to sign so many terms and conditions nowadays. And this is where I got a little bit hung up because I stopped at this heading called hypothecation, partially because that sounds like a subject that Harry Potter probably studied at Hogwarts. Harry Potter, you're late for your hypothecation exam. Hurry along now. But outside of the magical implications, it caught my eye and I was just reading it going, what does this mean? What does this entail for us? And I'll try and summarize it for you as far as how I'm deducting what this means. It says all the securities that Robinhood has can sometimes, if they want to, without telling you, be loaned out. So it's kind of like that stock lending program situation where you can opt into that and say, pay me a little bit of a cash balance in lieu of a dividend. And it's kind of an interesting thing, but it's also kind of a crappy thing because you remove your shareholder voting rights. You don't necessarily get the tax benefits of dividends because instead you just get this like cash in lieu of a dividend. And so it's fascinating to me that they buried this down on number seven of this whole terms agreement thing. It's not like it's something up front that they've explained to you. They've left it in legalese. They've left it buried in the middle kind of bottom of this terms and conditions sheet. And then they're basically saying whenever we want, however we want, without telling you, we might just loan out this equity. And I'm an absolute novice in the world of margin. And so maybe this is a standard margin agreement. Maybe this is how margin works, that this is how partially they make money on this stuff and they're just going to do it. They don't have to tell you. They have every right and obligation in the world to go out and take your money and do whatever they want with it. I'm not claiming this is criminal or weird or bad or something. I'm just looking at this going, huh, I don't really like that. I, I can't put my finger on why, but I'm not in love with that agreement. Any securities in the customer's margin or short account may be borrowed by Robinhood or lent to others. And I would be totally assuming here, I'd be drawing conclusions that I'm not able to draw to say, maybe this is also partially why you might get margin called. Because if Robinhood is doing this, if they're using your securities, if they're doing other stuff with it, then maybe that other stuff creates a situation where they go, you know what, we need this money right away. I don't know what they could be doing with the securities that would force that kind of action, but one way or another, you might get margin called. This happens to people. It doesn't necessarily mean that you made some terrible decision. It just means that the broker goes, you know what, we need the money now. And they have the power to do that. We're signing their terms and conditions agreement. We're opting in to them having all the power, them having all the rules and calling your loan in a way is one of the powers that they have. And so it's a tricky thing with this because depending on what you have set up, you might have an intended payoff date longer in the future that doesn't actually get to come to fruition because they margin call you in between now and then. And this video is by no means the, the warning call out there to everyone about this is what margin calls mean. Here's how they exist. Here's what to look out for. Here's how to avoid them. Any of that. I don't have that information. I just think that we should be aware that a random sudden margin call could be in your future if you're using margin and you've got to be ready for it. I'm not sure margin is a great decision for the average investor anyway, let alone if it's like your last dollar and you're like, you know what? I'm going to multiply this last dollar by using margin and then you don't have a way to pay back that margin 
margin in the case they do have a margin call, that could be a very sticky situation. So I would tread very lightly here if I were you. I would be very intentional and thoughtful before I took any action like this because it could be extremely risky. So then if you accept those terms and conditions and you say, okay, then margin investing will be enabled on your account. So then interestingly, whenever you look back at your account, it looks like you've deposited that margin balance already. It looks like you have that just there as if you had taken money from your bank account and put it in Robinhood because it says your buying power is now, boom, this big number for me, $32,000 and change, which I think is a little bit confusing. But once you click into it, it actually breaks it down. Like I would want to always see just the amount that I have actually there in cash separate from the margin balance. They kind of blur those lines together. I think it makes it easier for you to dip into the margin because you're like, hey, the money's there. I can use it. Why not? To me, that's not the most responsible UI designing in the world. I think I would do that differently if it was called Brendan Hood, not Robin Hood, but you know, it's not my app, so I can't tell them what to do. But thankfully, they do give you the ability to set a borrowing limit. And so if you want to just see a smaller number, if you want to set yourself a kind of guardrail there to say, I'm not going to go over this number. This feels a lot like gambling to me when people go into a casino and they're like, I only have 500 bucks in cash. This is all I'm going to use. Like, it feels a little too much like that to me. It feels not like investing, feels more like gambling to me, but you know, you do you. Thankfully, you can do that. They give you that power to set a borrowing limit, which I like. So I, of course, turn mine down to that thousand dollars that they give you with Robinhood Gold. That would be interest free. Not saying I'm going to use it, not saying I'm planning on using it, but if for some reason I needed to use it, I would keep it at that level that keeps me below having to pay any interest. And then you just go back to normal. Yep, there's your investing account. It looks like it always has. Okay, personally, I'm gonna try and avoid using margin if at all possible. It's tempting though. Like if I'm totally honest with you, if I'm bearing my chest to you, I would say it's tempting because if I'm confident enough to invest the money that I've already made, then why would I not be confident enough to invest even more money? You know, it's like that age old, if you could be loaned $10 million at a 0% interest rate, would you take it? And really it's not a question of do you want money or not? The question is asking, are you confident in your ability to grow the money? That's really what somebody's asking you. There's not a drag on it. There's not an interest rate. You don't have to maintain payments. It's just a question of, do you think that you could take this money and make it grow over time and come out ahead? And so it's kind of what they're doing with that thousand dollars at 0% interest rate is asking that same question. And even with that, I'm like, Ooh, I don't know. Kind of grosses me out. It kind of makes me a little freaked out to say, I'm going to borrow money from you guys. Even though it's not a large amount of money, even though it's a 0% interest rate, I, I just don't feel great about it. And the funny thing is the older I get, I'm 37. I'm still kind of a spring chicken. I'm a seasoned rooster. The older I get, the more I trust my gut in some of those ways, because it's not like I have some mystical power of prediction, but there's probably a reason why you feel uneasy about something or a reason why you feel great about something. If you're 20 years old, probably don't have as good of a gut to trust. But the longer we live, I think there's a little bit more of that intuition that's actually trustworthy. And so for me, I'm calling that out right now out loud with you. Help me be accountable to this. Keep me away from margin. It's probably not for me. But I wanted to show you it because it's something that's happening. It's a change in Robinhood. I think it's a change. I think these are lower rates than normal. So I may as well make you aware of it because I like highlighting products and features and things like that. So that's the story for today. Quick and easy one. Secret comment word is burrito because I love burritos and race cars. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.